there's Aspen in here. Today will be another episode of Boy vs. Pinterest. So, today we're going to be making these recipes and see if they flop. So, we have a new guest who is... Vincent's grandmother. So, let's get right into our recipes. Okay, first we try to make the panda rice ball. First of all, we have the ingredients and we have like one cup of uh, cooked short grain rice and we have seasoning, seaweed. For a cocky seasoning. Yeah. First, we mix the rice together with all the uh, rice seasoning and then we put it into the panda mold and then we cut the seaweed to make the eye, the nose and the ear. So we put it into the uh, mold. It's come out like this. Then with the pizza, uh, we put like uh, four tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour. Yep. And um, then we put one in one some... half teaspoon of baking soda, and one eighth teaspoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of olive oil, and we mix everything together as a base. And then I put on three tablespoons of marinara sauce and then we put on some vegan cheese and pineapple you forgot and yeah we put on some pineapples for fun and then we microwave for two minutes it come out like this it tasted terrible is that true? alright onto that one and the next one we have is like a bug on the log Four inches of celery stuff, and then we stuff with two tablespoons of peanut butter, and then we cut some pineapple for fun to make like a look like little bug, and two carrots, small carrot, and two raisin to make the eye and the ear. In the arms of the angel. And we have like toothpick on the celery to make it pretending like the bug's leg. It come out like this. It's very simple and easy for the kid to make. But they flop over a lot. Well, you have to use toothpick yep. to make it stabilize. If you don't use toothpicks, it'll flop over. Right. So I personally thought that these pandas look great. So I think this would be a pass since they already got those points from looking good. But this pizza? It's usually the inside what matters. And this thing is horrendous. Oh, it smelled like cornbread. It didn't taste like cornbread. I'm never going through this again. And then we have this bug thing, which I thought was a fail because if you don't put in toothpicks, it'll it'll flop over guaranteed if you don't have fresh pineapples. All right, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Leave a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. And thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. Got